Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, the Manga Geekdom. Today we're doing another haul video for the month of January and February, and I'm posting this on March. So yeah, it's one of those crazy hauls. The first one here is My Dress Up Darling Volume 2. You might remember if you've been watching the channel that I placed an order back in November of last year, and that got lost in the mail. I waited almost a month, then I contacted Route. Unfortunately, they couldn't make the order right away at Right Stuff because My Dress Up Darling Volume 2 was still sold out. They were waiting to get more copies. So they finally did and shipped it by itself. Followed up here by Volume 7, which is the latest released volume. This came out at the end of January. So now we're all up to date with this series. Next one up is Gantz Omnibus Volume 11. We're one book away from having all of Gantz collected in this omnibus format, or at least the original series. I should mention this is my first time reading this. I, I don't want to flip around too much because I, I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, super happy to own Gantz Volume 11 of the omnibus editions. The Night Blooms Behind Castle Walls Volume 1. I made a first impressions video on this if you want to check it out on the channel. Really enjoyed this series. It's about a, squ a squire that dreams of being a knight. She's pretty cool and uh, the whole manga is just really well drawn and uh, the definition of a wholesome read. Something that's not wholesome and actually quite macabre and perverted, I guess. Succubus and Hitman Volume 3 of this series. I really enjoyed this volume. It had some of the most intense action scenes of the series so far. And the protagonist is doing the rescue mission uh, for another character. Don't want to spoil it just in case if you're uh, reading this for the first time. And that whole sequence was just uh, shocking, badass, and a little traumatizing to say the least. Next up is Oshinoko Volume 1. I also did a first impressions video on this if you want to check it out here on the channel. Uh, yeah, this, this is quite the experience. I knew of how bonkers it was, but I wasn't ready for what was to happen in this first volume. It's a shame that we got to wait so long for Volume 2, but it's going to be worth it, I think. I really enjoyed it by the end. It got better as it went along. But I love the art and the crazy premise. And in that same video, I talk about Honey Lemon Soda, which was a pleasant surprise. And I know it's a, it's a famous shoujo manga, and I wanted to give it a shot. I really enjoyed Honey Lemon Soda. It was quite the refreshing read. Kowloon. Here we have Volume 1, Kowloon Generic Romance, and Volume 2 as well. A fantastic series. Slice of life, romance, with a hint of supernatural elements. I'll just leave it at that, but it's a really good series. Highly recommended. Tatsuki Fujimoto Before Chainsaw Man 17 to 21. I was at Walmart of all places and they've been expanding their manga section. I've seen a lot of Viz books, Seven Seas, Kodansha, stuff like that. The layout of this book just called out to me in the color scheme and I like Tatsuki Fujimoto. Obviously, I've read Chainsaw Man, enjoyed that, and I really like his short stories, uh, especially like Goodbye, Airy. So I thought I should pick this up and support uh, Fujimoto. Next up is Frieren Beyond Journey's End, and that's pretty funny because last haul video I said, you know what, I'm going to slow down on getting stuff that I haven't read yet because I've only read like two volumes of Frieren. And just as I said that, I realized, oh, crap, I forgot I had already pre-ordered Volume 7. So uh, maybe I'll do that with Volume 8. Dr. Stone, Volume 24. Two more books, if memory serves me right, and we will have the entirety of that series. Happy about that, to have a complete Shonen Jump series on my shelf. I love this series so much. And here is Beastars Volume 22, the final volume of Beastars. I am two volumes behind on my reading. I need to finish this. Excited to check it out. I love Beastars so much. One of my favorite manga from the past couple years. I think I started reading it when it came out. And, uh, or at least when the first volume came out stateside, so I'm excited to see how it all wraps up. And as you can see here, Record of Ragnarok Volume 5. This is another kick-ass series, super happy to get this, but I just wish 
the books would come out a lot faster because we are way behind. Here's a look at all the colorful spines. I know a lot of you like to look at that, myself included. Next up from Seven Seas, we got Marmalade Boy, the Collector's Edition, Volume 1. I couldn't pass this up. I know about it from the anime. It's a legendary series, a very famous rom-com. Wanted to add it to my collection, and I believe it shouldn't be too long. I think uh, at least four or five of these collector's editions, which is really nice for the shelf. Also from Seven Seas, this was one of my anticipated reads of January. Finally got it in my hands, Sword of the Demon Hunter Volume 1. This is a pretty kick-ass uh, samurai action manga with uh, supernatural elements and monsters and all that cool stuff. So yeah, if you're into that, I highly recommend it. And speaking of monsters and cool action, Kimono Jihen Volume 4. This volume, I think, is great. It's where the story picks up considerably for me. It has the backstory for two of the main characters, and they're quite dramatic and action-heavy at times. Definitely give it a shot if you're interested in uh, shonen books with supernatural angles to it. Continuing the trend with monsters and cool things, Rooster Fighter Volume 3. This action parody manga is fantastic. I love it so much. And the art just continues to impress. And our rooster's journey, his path of, of vengeance is pretty badass. Now he's got secondary characters tagging along. And uh, they're quite interesting as well, as you can see here. Now this is an interesting pickup. I got this purely out of impulse. Uh, Dan 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 Volume 1. I've read some of it online through the apps, but I saw it at Walmart as well. And I said, you know what? I'll get volume one. I think it'll be cool to at least own uh, the first volume of it. But yeah, Dan 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 is super crazy bonkers, action packed, a lot of suggestive humor and great artwork. Mermaid Scales and the Town of Sand. This is one of my anticipated reads of February. Super excited to pick this up a slice of life drama with supernatural aspects you have a girl that may have had contact with uh, mermaids japanese mermaids which are a little bit different than your regular ones and i love the art on this and i love the build i love that it's oversized this uh, book looks fantastic and i can't wait to read it and talk a little bit more about it so look forward to a video on that uh, real soon had to do it. Picked up another omnibus edition of Alita Last Order. Uh, missing, obviously, volume 5. And then the rest would be the single editions, right? 16 to 19 or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to finishing off collecting the sequel series to uh, Battle Angel Alita. Also from Kodansha, Rent a Girlfriend, volume 17. I stopped reading it. Uh, when I got to volume 12 and now I recently picked it up again because I know season 3 of the anime is coming soon so I'm really enjoying the current arc with the crowdfunding for the film and to wrap up the manga section here we got Break of Dawn I was super intrigued when I read the description for it this sci-fi coming of age story it has a movie I haven't seen it, it looks awesome so I wanted to pick up the original source material. I like that it's an all-in-one and it's pretty chunky. Look at the size of this thing. It's a, it's a mini brick. I like it. Can't wait to read it and give you my thoughts on it on the channel. Couple anime here. We got the first half of Mushigo Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Really enjoyed it. There's a reason why a lot of people call it sort of the grandfather of the modern isekai. And I really enjoyed uh, the main character as uh, faulty and perverse and weird as he is. There is a charm to his journey. I love the character progression and I love the world building on this thing. Can't wait to revisit Mushiko Tensei. I don't know if I'm going to get the light novels or manga, so the anime is just fine. I'm looking forward to completing season one and getting the other blu-ray release which came out as of me making this video here is ranking of kings the first half this was one of my favorite anime of 2021 highly recommend watching it uh, boji is one of the best characters ever i love that little dude 
and his journey resonated with me and his struggles while different than mine I did find some similarities there and it's just a really nice adaptation which studios knocked it out of the park great characters great story a very human story with fantastical elements so yeah don't want to spoil it too much but this young prince he is supposed to be next in line to be the king you find out that he is deaf and not a lot of people take him seriously and unfortunately something happens that his privilege or right to be the king is stripped from him and he goes off on this adventure with a shadowy assassin friend that you're seeing here on the stairway. And that's sort of vaguely the plot, <laughs> the start of the plot of Ranking of Kings, but there's so much more. I invite you to please check it out if you're interested. I don't think you'll be disappointed. There you go. That is the haul for the month of February and a little bit of January there too. There are some books missing that did not arrive <laughs> as usual with the channel. So look forward to that in the next haul video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this, leave a like, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. I do content like this where I talk about all the manga that I'm reading and all the anime that I'm watching. So that's going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.